Hey everyone, RT Custer here from Vortec Watch Company. This is going to be a different episode of Custer and Wolf building a watch company. Today we're at the Wind Up Watch Fair here in New York City. It is uh, the largest micro brand and independent wristwatch industry fair, free and open to the public. And they do it in New York, San Francisco, and Chicago every year. New York is the biggest. We're gonna do a quick walkthrough of the show to show you what it's like if you couldn't make it. And we're gonna do a quick overview of Vortec Watch Company, how we set up our booth, and show you how and why we do these shows. Come along. When we walk in, you can probably get an idea of how large it is. I'm gonna to have to talk pretty loud. There is a ton of people in here, and this is actually less than yesterday. I think there's 60 brands around this thing. We're gonna do a quick lap. We got some big brands like G-Shock, Oris is over here. They have the end caps on the ends here. Vortec Watch Company is the second on the left, so we're gonna walk by our booth so you can see it. Don't worry, we'll circle back so you can see it a little closer. Come along, let's check it out. Every booth is really just a six to eight foot table. You can see Vortec here. But everyone shows up, they have, you know, their best watches, the highlights of what they do. This is all free and open, so we have watch collectors, we have just people in the watch community that come to, to check this out. And you know, if you like watches, you can spend the entire day here. It's going to take us a while just to do a full lap of the whole thing. But we got some amazing pieces. We got some amazing art. Just spectacular watches here. As we wander through, you got all each row you can see has about, you know, five or six watch booths in it. You got some bigger brands that you might have heard of that are sold through retailers. So they're doing um, they're doing wholesale sales here. You have some some other larger brands like Bulova, owned by Citizen here. Their their display is always beautiful. Bulova has been around for a very long time, so they got this whole setup here. It's just absolutely gorgeous. Some people bring just a table, and some people, you know, they, they can and they do go all out. Got my friends Oak and Oscar over here. They're one of the few American watch companies, like made in USA. They're from Chicago. Their Chicago's display was awesome. Zodiac, if you haven't heard of them, they're owned by Fossil. But it's still a you know, independent or so brand, uh, Swiss made since the late 1800s, Zodiac's pretty awesome. And then, you know, most of these are watch companies, but then you have my friend here at Standard H, that's the jacket, he's selling clothes, hats, all kinds of awesome stuff, so Wind Up kind of mixes it up, and they don't just give you watches, they give you all kinds of stuff, it's pretty great. So there's a lot of people here, but I'm going to show you a couple of my favorites. This one, and we can do a quick walk by, it's called Stella. Modern watch company, you know, modern watches, micro brand, but the dials on these are spectacular. You got to get a close up. My favorite is the light blue. Let's go to Benrus. So these guys are from Benrus. If you haven't heard of Benrus, it's a, an old American brand. They made watches for the US military, similar to the pocket watches that we use in our military edition. These guys have resurrected the brand and done some amazing things with it. Each watch is what they call an homage, so they're remakes of very old watches. But you gotta get close and check this one out that's on the car, it's just so cool. All their branding is spectacular. Just really well made vintage inspired all from the old original brand all right so if you like vortec you probably like one of a kind things handmade things made in usa handcrafted this is bespoke watch projects out of oakland and every single piece is unique just like a vortex so check these out
All right, so these watches you have to see, especially if you like classic, elegant design. This is year-end watches, so cool. There's a couple little things that really stand out about these. This is one of my favorites. I've never seen this before. If you follow the strap, the leather from the strap actually continues through the dial and then into the other side of the strap. And if you look really closely, there's an inlaid gold rim around the top. But the watches are cool, but this display is fantastic. If you want to do a trade show right, this is how you do it. Check it out. So this, this is Brew Watch Company, and this behind me, this is John. And the watches are great. Really, really cool, based in New York. But this man is probably the most authentic human in the watch industry. Everybody loves him as a founder. Look at him. He's not behind his table. He's out here connecting with the people. That's so cool. This is John. This is Brew. What's up, buddy? How are you? Good. I'm just showing off your awesome watches. Can we check it out? Absolutely. Thank you. Cool. The booth. Yeah. We're doing a YouTube video, like, walkthrough for, like, my customers that, you know, couldn't make it or yeah. can't travel or whatever. Yeah. Customer service is not just service. It's, it's being kind and good to your customers. I, oh, yeah. It's the same. Love it. Yeah. Well, I'm going to keep going. All right. Good luck. Sell all the watches today, yes. sir. All right. So we got a couple brands here I want to highlight real quick. This is Abingdon. They make women's watches, but for function, not fashion. So cool. You got to check them out. It's basically like pilot's watches for women. This is one of their first shows at a watch industry event. Uh, they don't do events like this, so it's really cool to, to see them here. And then as we come past, this over here is Anne Ordain. And Anne Ordain does some amazing things with Grand View enamel dials. If you know anything about how dials are made, these guys are the best in the world. They're in Scotland. It's all handmade. It's insane. It takes multiple days just to make one dial of one watch, just like the old pocket watch companies used to do. You've got to check it out. All right, guys, so you got to check this out. So this is Vertex Watch Company, and it was started by your great-grandfather. That's super cool. And similar to what we do at Vortex, I mean, Vertex made pocket watches back in the day. This is an original pocket watch conversion, you know, done a little bit differently. But you got to see all the new stuff that they have, basically resurrecting the brand, making beautiful um, pieces that are all on brand to the original. Come on over, check it out. So let's head back to the Vortec booth and check it out. We are set up, we're ready. We got our new military edition that comes out in November over here. We've got our whole display about that. We have one example of like every size and watch that we make right here. And then we have everything from the website that's for sale right here. These are all of our 12 size, uh, all the watch of the day watches that have not sold yet show up here. We gotta pay attention to our phone. People are buying things online, we gotta take it out. But if you're here and you're in New York City, not only are there 59 other brands in this room that are showing off some amazing watches, but you can come and see Vortec watches in person. We love doing shows because we can show people exactly what the watches look like, what they feel like, how heavy they are, what they look like on your wrist. You can put on all the different sizes. You can see the case finishes in person. You know, that's why we're putting out so much video content now is pictures just, they don't do a Vortec watch justice. You know, it, 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 you just have to see it in person. And obviously video is the closest we can get. But if you're here, you can try all these on. You can check them out. This is the most inventory we've ever had at a show before. So we're really excited to be able to say, all right, here's all the different things that we do. And here's why we do it. Here's how we do it. Tyler's here too, talking about you know how we make everything. One of the things we're really excited about is our railroad edition. So this is our railroad edition that we've made for a little while. We, we kind of took a break because we wanted to, to redo the engineering on it. But as you can see, this, I mean, this is our favorite. This watch is just beautiful. So we got a couple of railroad editions here so people can see those. 
And then this here, this is, you know, the pride and joy. This is a military edition. We have the 2022 model here. Uh, that's our fourth edition. And then we have our, our special edition that we're only doing 15 of. And to say this watch is rare is just an understatement. So we haven't really talked much about these yet. This is our release. This is when they come out. Super excited. All right, so Blake, yes. this is Wind Up New York City 2022. Yes. This might be the largest collection of micro brand and independent watch companies that's ever happened in the United States. Is that true? Yeah, I think certainly for a, you know, a consumer focused event, I think this is the largest. So and cool. I think what's so great about this is that it's just a wide spectrum of just something from everybody, regardless of style or price point, like it's all under one roof. It's so cool. And there's and it's literally all. Like I yeah. feel like this is our whole industry right yeah. here. This is as close as I think a lot of us are gonna get to Basel World yeah. at this point. So yeah. thank you for doing it. Super no, awesome. What's the future of Wind Up look like? What's next year look like? Where where sure. are the events? Yeah, so this year we really grew Wind Up quite a bit with yeah. a new event in Chicago and larger events pretty much across the board. So you know, San Francisco will get larger next year and um, I think New York we're gonna definitely come back here and we'll do Chicago again. I think we're definitely looking to expand to additional cities in the future. Nice. Uh, people really want us to go to Texas. People really want us to go to London. So oh. I don't have anything concrete quite yet, but there will be more in other locations for sure. Cool. Yeah. Well, you heard it first right yes. here on this, you know, we have 12, maybe 13 subscribers on this channel yeah. now. Um, so the 12 of you that care, Hold post your comments ball. underneath. Tell us where you want Wind Up <laughs> to be. Do. Yeah. <laughs> it's going to be awesome. Like, cool. yeah. thank you so much. Thanks it's been you. so fun watching you guys grow. Oh, and likewise. My worn and wound and wind up and everything. I'm just yeah. happy to be here. No, and thank you for being a part of it for, from the beginning. We do what we can. Thanks. usually put as much b-roll over my face as possible oh, okay. it's much better that way people don't want to see me let's go outside and we'll uh, just kind of wing it you know <laughs> <laughs>